Hi, I'm Connie reimers Hild with the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and I'm very honored to have this opportunity to talk to you about a research-based coaching model I developed called the Inner Leader Coaching Ecosystem, or ICE, really designed to promote and sustain personal innovation. So please enjoy the presentation, and if you have any questions, any ideas or input that you'd like to add, or if you'd like to learn a little bit more about coaching and what we offer through the University of Nebraska Extension at the Kimmel Education and Research Center, please let me know. Feel free to contact me anytime. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you. The title of my presentation is Leadership Coaching as a Tool for Innovation, the Inner Leader Coaching Ecosystem. I do really believe and have found that before you can truly lead others, you must first lead yourself. And coaching can be a very powerful tool for people to develop their inner leaders so they really know more about what they want, what they want to pursue, and then take action to actually do it. I approach coaching in the same manner as the International Coach Federation, as partnering with clients in a thought-provoking and creative process that inspires them to maximize their personal and professional potential. Now, one thing to note about coaching is that it is very much client-driven. Clients must be really committed to the process of self-discovery and change. It's also you know, open to a variety of audiences. Coaching is available for individuals, teams, organizations, businesses, and communities, and can take place in face-to-face -face sessions or through technologies such as phone connections, Skype, etc. And of course, a variety of coaching apps also exist. Now, another thing to note is what coaching is not. It's not therapy, counseling, or mentoring, and it's not a passive process. So as you think about coaching, these are a few things to keep in mind. More than a decade ago, I started researching the entrepreneurial personality. I started first with distance learners and I moved on since then. And the thing that I continue to find is that personal fulfillment is the greatest source of motivation and people really need to define success for themselves. Now, in addition to teaching and extension, I really wanted to implement coaching because we really want people to change their behaviors. And in order to do that, it really takes some high touch work. And coaching was a great solution to help implement the changes people need and want to make in their lives. There are four phases of the inner leader coaching ecosystem or ICE. The phases are discover, decide, design, and dare. The infinity symbol serves as a visual representation of ICE. This ageless symbol represents the infinite possibilities that exist inside each of each individual as they travel their individual paths and experience the journey of life. Further, the symbol indicates the fluidity of ICE. Coaches can be in any phase of the coaching model at any time, depending on their individual needs and desires. The green color of the infinity symbol represents the lasting and sustainable benefits of ICE while the blue color really represents water and that fluidity that exists in the ICE coaching model. I used my educational experiences, my background as an educator, and also uh, my, my journey as a certified professional coach to develop ICE. And what I brought together was the inner world and outer world of individuals. I think this is a really important connection to make because we have to really connect our inner world with our outer world to help determine what we want and to take those appropriate action steps. And, you know, ICE really became a coaching system designed to support positive personal innovation by synergistically and organically bringing together the inner world and outer world of sustainable living and having a life. But also, it really is an element that helps create a personal innovation plan for sustainable and continued growth and development. People need a plan just like any sort of business or organization needs an innovation plan. And innovation really ultimately starts with individuals. So it's important for our individuals to put a plan together as well and for them to have support with that plan to make it really, you know, about behavior change and taking action. There are a number of core elements with ICE. It's sustainable, it's a continuum, and it's also continuous. Innovation itself must be a continuous process in organizations, and it needs to be that in individuals as well. It's not a one-time thing. So ICE really does help create a personal innovation plan that evolves as the person evolves as well. I want to briefly touch on each phase of ICE. One of the phases is the discover phase. So one of the realizations of ICE is that everybody discovers what they want a little bit differently. 
Some of us maybe like to meditate or go really internal, but some people, like my five-year-old daughter, are a lot more experiential in nature. So they want some hands-on activities, just like she likes with the iPad. Get in there, experiment, take some actions, but really find out and dig deep into what they want and really find their truth around that. One of the things I encourage people to do and one of the tools I use in the discover phase is the development of visual vision statement because images are so powerful. So I really encourage people to use words, pictures, even 3D kind of fun tools when possible. It's really important for them to buy into their vision. And I provide to them five tips for a priceless personal vision statement. You know, you want to write it, draw it, and refine it, have fun with it, use it, revise it, and love it. Have passion around it. And realizing that they may change over time is very important. Now, of course, this is only one tool in the discover phase. There are many, many others, but I wanted to give you an example of some of the things that happen with the inner leader coaching ecosystem. Another phase of the inner leader coaching ecosystem is the decide phase. And in this phase, you're really making decisions and an honest commitment about what you're willing to do to achieve your personal vision. And one thing I've really started to explore is the fact that our beliefs do control what happens in our life and control our biology. And I love this quote from Bruce Lipton, who wrote The Biology of Belief. We are not stuck with our genes or our self-defeating behaviors. And sometimes it's really important for clients to take a look at their beliefs and really how that's impacting their lives. Another phase of ICE is the design phase. And in this phase of ICE, clients really design the strategies and structures that are very personalized to help move them forward and hold them accountable for their actions or their inaction. And this is really different for everybody. It it's varies quite a bit, but it's really important for them to buy into what they're doing and have the system work for them. And the other thing that I find is really there needs to be an element here that helps people change your subconscious mind. Um, according to some research, our conscious mind really is about 5% of what we think, but the subconscious mind really controls about 95% of what we do. So it's important to consider that and to actually develop strategies and structures that embed our beliefs and our thoughts into the subconscious. The fourth phase of ICE is the DARE phase, and this is about people really taking action, redefining risk, and moving forward and learning from their mistakes or the great things um, that happen as a result of, of making some changes and taking on personal innovation. In this picture, you see Gigi. She's a symbol of risk-taking in our office and for one of our entrepreneurship clubs. It's a giraffe, it's a stuffed giraffe. So we really want to reward people for sticking their neck out, taking some risks and chances and doing things differently. And again, these are just great fun visual reminders of what to do and what you're committed to doing. So we'd like to have some fun with that in our workplace as well. And really want to help people do this as individuals so they can create you know, a personal innovation plan that really works for them. A few last comments I have about ICE are that, you know, great leaders really exercise self-awareness, self-confidence, and self-care. And ICE really recognizes this and incorporates these aspects throughout each phase, which is really important as people are working towards personal innovation and developing really their inner leader and making that innovation and change happen in a way that works best for them. This quote by Steve Jobs really reflects what ICE is working to accomplish. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. You are what you innovate, and ICE was really created to help people innovate at the individual level. Thank you for joining this presentation. And again, if you ever have any questions, comments, ideas, anything to add, or if you would like some coaching with the Inner Leader Coaching ecosystem, please contact me, Connie Reimers Hild, at the University of Nebraska Kimmel Education and Research Center. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.